Hello beautiful souls, my name is Alexandra and I am back today with a new light language transmission for you. The topic that I was guided to work on um, is about opening up to a new world of possibilities. And what I mean by that is really um, tapping into the frequency of allowing completely miraculous and unexpected um, opportunities and possibilities to come into your life. Because what we usually do is, you know, we have a human aspect um, that is, you know, kind of um, bound to emotions, to fears, to resistances, to, um, you know, bound to the 3D perspective or the perspective of the five senses uh, and to the rules and regulations of our society. But we also have our sacred, our divine um, aspect, our um, creator source consciousness aspect, um, which is the one that can uh, create these manifestations and these possibilities. So what we're going to do today is um, align you more with this one sacred divine aspect in order for your human aspect to be able to live and create and manifest such uh, miracles and synchronicities and opportunities in your day-to-day -day life. And when I was, um, you know, sitting with my guides and talking about the transmission today with them, uh, they told me to talk about a few uh, personal experiences in my life when um, such incredible uh, possibilities and synchronicities and miracles took place. Um, obviously, it's happening somehow on a continuous basis, um, but when these things happened, this, uh, the first one I'm going to talk about um, was about 10 years ago, um, when I just started to consciously um, start my my light work or my star mission here um, for this incarnation and consciously started um, tapping into my abilities and really aligned myself to my soul's mission and plan. Um, and at that time, it was still like an um, exploration of, you know, what is possible? Um, what is reality? What is the quantum field? Uh, what are synchronicities? What are, what are miracles? And the universe kept showing me these things to help me move forward, um, despite the human aspect being maybe a bit confused or uh, doubting uh, what messages I was getting and so on and so forth. So the first uh, thing I wanted to talk about was um, when, um, like, uh, as I said before, uh, a long time ago, um, I was living in India for a while, for an entire year, uh, with my ex-partner, and we decided to move to Europe. Uh, my father is um, living in Romania, and so our plan was to move to Bucharest for a while, and that is also where we both had our uh, workspace and have been um, working together and um, offering one-on-one -on -one sessions. and organizing retreats to India and so on and so forth. And uh, while I was in India during that year, a woman contacted me that heard uh, about my work and um, I did uh, a few Skype sessions with her and she felt so moved and so relieved. She asked me to start uh, working with her son who was, um, you know, a teenager, I think about 18, 17 years old. And, you know, going through some time of experimenting with different substances and stuff like that. And she was a bit uh, fearful about his future and how things are going to unfold for him. So I worked with him as well. And uh, thing, things really started to shift uh, for both of them. And she was so touched and uh, impressed in, in a way about the effects of the work. And so when I just casually told her, yeah, we're moving to, to Bucharest, she was like, hey, um, I have um, a lot of furniture that I uh, am not using right now. Her mother passed away and so she had a lot of things um, in a storage space that she was um, paying for monthly. And she was like, do you guys need the furniture? And I was like, 
wow, why not? You know, amazing. And it's not, um, what I'm talking about here is not um, kind of like relying on people giving you stuff. I'm talking about the moment when you're in full alignment with your path and you have that openness towards these possibilities that they actually can come to you and they do. Uh, and this idea of why not that I just mentioned before is something that the Pleiadians taught me, um, uh, which is basically why not? Why don't? Why wouldn't I deserve the best? Why wouldn't I deserve this amazing miracle to take place in my life? Why wouldn't I, um, you know, um, have people in my life that are willing to support me on my journey? Uh, why wouldn't I have people in my life? Or, for example, I'm just giving a practical example: people on YouTube that um, are benefiting from my work that would um, be willing um, and happy to contribute and donate um, for the work that I'm doing and support me uh, with what I'm doing or, you know, so what we usually do is think about the possibilities that we have that we perceive in 3D with our five senses and with the structure that we're living in and the matrix that we created for ourselves and the matrix that is um, overshad overshadowing our reality and then we're like, this is never going to happen, it's impossible, it's too difficult and whatever, so we block these possibilities. Um, but in that moment, I was like, wow. And then we moved to Romania and then I had somebody who was like, hey, your space is so nice, you know, and I was like, yeah, I still have to get some plants, I love plants. And she was like, I have so many plants, um, can I bring some over? Um, I'm, I want to gift them to you. And I was like, wow, thank you so much. So then we had... The furniture for free most of the furniture for free uh, we got we got beautiful plants for free then um we um had the possibility from a family member who was like hey you guys probably need a car you know bucharest is a big city and we also had older clients that couldn't come to our space that we wanted to to um work with because they needed the work um so then we basically ended up having a car for free uh, with summer and winter tires um, and we even had um, also another family member um, that offered us the space for free so we had no rent to pay like just electricity and water and things like that um, so why I'm mentioning is is because it was part of our path to move there and start sharing our work with people and the universe opened up these doors for us um, and uh, I'm giving these examples because they guided me to, but also to really uh, address your human aspect that might be like, huh, I don't know about these synchronicities. They're probably just coincidences. They're not. Trust me, they're not. There's no such thing as a coincidence because we're in a quantum field. Everything is interconnected. Um, so whenever there is a need uh, and at the same time an openness for that need to be met, the quantum field is going to automatically uh, bring that, whatever that need is about, bring it to that person. But this is also why subconscious mind work is so important because most of the time we want something and at the same time there is some resistance towards it, uh, some fear about it or um, the, the thought of it being impossible, you know, for, for that thing to manifest for us. And that's why I offer subconscious mind work, because that is where all these blockages in our manifestations take place. And we all know about the secret and how easy they, it was portrayed in that movie to work with the law of attraction. It can be very easy, but before it gets that easy, before we can really step into that energy of a conscious creator of our reality, we have to clear the subconscious blocks that are interfering um, in, you know, creating obstacles or difficulties between our manifestations and our amazing uh, possibilities that are there for us and ourselves in our life. Um, then another thing that happened to me was um, also uh, related to this YouTube channel. I've been feeling that I have to start a YouTube channel for a few years now. Uh, but I've been going through a lot of uh, deep clearing and transition myself and it just wasn't the time to do it. But I knew because the message came through, I knew that I, I meant to do it. Um, and uh, around two years ago, I ended my relationship with my ex partner that I just mentioned uh, in complete love and understanding. We're still very connected. 
and I uh, moved in with my uh, current fiance that I am having, uh, that I just uh, recently had a baby with five months ago. And um, my ex-partner, God bless his soul, um, uh, gifted me with the entire equipment for, um, you know, recording these videos. Um, and at the same time, even everything I ordered, like the background and, you know, uh, the desk that is right in front of me and other things that I needed for, um, you know, creating um, these videos uh, came to me um, with so much ease and um, much faster than expected. Like I ordered the background and also, as I said, the desk in front of me and um, the light uh, that I'm using and the stand and a few other things um, via Amazon during the lockdown. And as many of you probably know, at some point Amazon had that um, announcement on top saying that, you know, because of the situation that's taking place right now, your deliveries might uh, need uh, a bit longer. Well, in my case, even though a specific date was written down there, um, and I was in my heart of hearts hoping stuff is gonna the stuff is gonna come here sooner. It actually came um, less than in half of the time, which was where it was supposed to come according to Amazon. Um, so all these incredible synchronicities take place when we keep an open mind, when we don't get dragged into the resistance of the human aspect. Um, and keep an open heart towards those possibilities. And that is the topic for today. Um, so what we're going to work on first is trusting that the universe has your back and wants you to thrive and be abundant and wants you to live with ease and grace and bliss and joy and do what you love. This is the first part of the transmission because many of us, you know, even with this aspect of karma or, you know, the idea of God being somebody that punishes us and so on and so forth. You know, the collective consciousness on this planet has a lot of beliefs that are kind of blocking us from really understanding that the universe loves us and wants the best for us. Um, and that is what we will be, um, these blockages or these beliefs is what we're going to be clearing now and uh, strengthening this trust in the fact that the universe loves us and wants the best for us. ところへきりやてきりおところいしてきりやてきりえらいこるふしとるえかりやらいからところとけらいてきあらふとこるやてかしたらあらくてえらいかうるとくとるとあらくてしてれりやらおとこてきりやらおしとれりやからはらふ
and not only that you deserve but that you really deserve the best um, because we all have certain limitations about deserving in the first place and also we are kind of like yeah if I have about this amount of money I'm gonna be fine you know um, I don't need too much and I used to be the same I would be like um, you know I don't need a lot I, I'm, I'm okay with you know just about enough which is fine but then you know as many of you probably know the moment you have a baby uh, or you know move to a different country or go through different phases of, of the human life um, just about enough might not be enough anymore so that's the point when we have to start clearing the subconscious and allowing more possibility in. and this is what this part of the transmission is about とこりやたからかたかしょくとるえてきりらひきてきりやたからおることえきりやたからへりやからふくとるりやてきうるきてきやなかたかしょくとるえてきりらひきてきりやたからおることえきりやたからへりやからふくとるりやてきう
Tikiria takara huku shutu kurea kata uori a karakiti. Tikiria uru o shata kara uru turi hara kata. Hukuri a takaria, huru kuturi a takaria kata huru ti. Tikiria ra keri a ta ura keri a takara. Tukuru ura yara he keri a ta huku tikitia. Hura re keri a ra huku turu tu keri a taka ara he tikiri a tata. Huri a kata asa tikiri a ra he rekiti area huru kututu re tikiri a taka tikiri a taka huru e tiki. Huru e tikiri a tau shutu kuri a tikara a e tikara oro kutukuru kutukuru pere kutikiti. Huri e tiki hata kara hari a ta eri a ta uru huri a tikiri a tata. Tukuri a asa tikiri a tiki iri ki tikara uru kutu uri nikiri a nakari a tiki unikiri a di uru kutu shutu ya kara tiki. Tikiri a taka uru a asa tiki iri a ra munne ke ere uru hutuku. Hutukuri a te ere a kitiri a ta uri e tiki ti. Tukuri a tikiri a ta ta uru kutu ushutu ya teri a taka uri a take uru kutu uru kutu. Uru uru tutu a shatiri a kara kuri e tiki iri a ta anna ure kiti iri a ta ta. And the next part is going to be about being in a flow with the universal intelligence. And as many of you probably experienced and know, it's probably been the same for you. As it was for me, the moment I really entered into that universal flow uh, and my soul's path, I started seeing 1111 11 everywhere. Um, and I mean, I see it in so many different places almost every day. Um, and that's one of the signs of being in the universal flow or the being aligned with the universal intelligence, let's say, in your soul's path. Um, so this is the type of frequency we will be working on. And also... Um, holding the vision of, of something that you were shown is going to take place or you need, uh, you know, needs to take place or something that you would like to manifest and being to hold, being able to hold that vision, um, and aligning with it energetically, even though you don't know how it would ever be possible for it to manifest, just like we light workers and star seeds are holding the vision of the new earth even though, you know, I mean, some of, some of us channel messages and so on, but we don't all have a clear vision of how this whole process will unfold. And this is exactly the same process for our lives. Um, um, like, I knew that I have to, that I'm going to be moving from India to Romania, uh, but I had no clue what's going to happen once I'm there, where I'm going to be living, and what the expenses are going to be, or anything I had no clue I just knew I had to do it and the moment I just opened up to it that's when all these miracles and possibilities came in and so this is what this part is about about um, being in flow with the universal intelligence and um, holding the vision even if something seems impossible or yeah hard to manifest or hard to create or attract into your reality Uru kute e shiti kiri ata kara ure kiri a te kiri diri diri uru kutu ushutu kiri ata kara ari a te kara unu kutu eri hati kiri te kiri ara uru shutu kiri ata kiri a kira ara ure kiti tu kuri eri kata ashokoro diri e ne kara ara he kiri ata kara hudu yu turu tu eri a kiri ti 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 tu kuri ara shatiri ata kira hari ne uru ne ana ra unu kusho ne ra te re kutu kutu uru kutu asha kara ari kiri a Ukuriara nana pashonene urogiri era uru shuturi eri a te karata kutu uru kutu kutu. Tikiri a te kutu uru shutiri tiki tiki ara kete ra uru eri a te kata anara ure ne kidni a kara kutu kane kiri a. Ukuri era a shata kiri a kutu uru kutu uru kutu uru. Tukuri ara a te karata kuru te esari a te kere a uru te kere a taka asha tikiri a tiki tiki ara kutu kuru. Tikiri ana unne ka shateri a ara uru kuturi a kete karu kutu ura hasha karata. Uru kuturi a ra kateri a tara ure kiti iri a kata ana unu kutu unu ure te ura kata asha karata ta. Unna karara uru ere riri riri hutu kuru te etaka ra kuri a. Tikiri ana ure shutigiri a ta uru uri a kate karara ure shateri a kete iri. 
kuria karana o no koshote ara utukurut ere kiteria kutu shotukiri. Uri ya tikinare, urokutara, unneka shoterare, urokutu. Tikiri ara un no korere, aurukutu urukutu ere ke chikiri atakara un no korere, era nana runingine. Un no korere yakare, urokate ane ya urokashati kiri ataka. Tikiri ara utuk ushotere, ne yara urakatari ya kiri tiri ya. Ukuri ara ukuturi ere ata ushotakiri ata urokute nekere. Un ne yara na hara kut ura e kashatini ana e araya ne yare, ne yare, ne ngore. Ni ngara ara uru kushutaraya, ni ngara uru kareya, hukuriya katakare, hatakare atiki. Uru kuturoya kera, shatikiri atakara hiri atatara, uri atikiri. Uri atikiri ara kishitiri. Turu yate kitiya, uri atikiriri. Thank you for uh, watching my, my video. If you enjoyed this transmission, uh, then do please like, share, and subscribe. Um, and uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you know um, when I post um, other transmissions. And um, drink a lot of water when you're uh, listening to this transmission or any other transmission. If any one of you is interested in a personal light language transmission, energy reading or healing session, um, or also this uh, subconscious mind work that I offer, uh, that I mentioned in this video, then uh, send me an email. The email is gonna um, show up at the end of the video. Um, and I also wanted to um, invite all of you watching this video or any other videos to uh, if you feel comfortable to to comment below and let me know if there are any topics you would like me to do a transmission on um, and i will do my best to incorporate them into the flow of um, what is coming through if you want to follow me on uh, any of the channels, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, um, then I'm on all of them. And again, the info is going to be at the end of the video. Um, I also channel light language um, on uh, in a drawn form. And those transmissions are for free on all of the channels. Um, and yeah, I love you. And I'm going to see you soon. I hope this transmission is going to help you tap more and more into your heart's through essence and radiate it out into the world. And um, all the best to you.